My very favorite relational skill is radical, generous, undeserved benefit of the doubt. There's a lot of partners, kids, friends, coworkers walking around with anxious avoidant attachment or anxious reactive attachment. And they're walking around with the secret fear of, am I bad? Am I gonna get abandoned or rejected or proven worthless? And if this has gone on long enough, unchecked or unhealed, they could become pretty defensive. They could start to justify withholding things like basic consideration or start to justify being critical or diminishing. And you don't want that. I'll talk about checking it, but first it just needs to be regulated. And that's why the statement of benefit of the doubt is important. And since my video on partners responding to each other's bids was so popular, I'll use this for an example. I used benefit of the doubt just this morning with my kid, who's uh, let's say not neurologically attuned with the world around him automatically. I say stuff and he doesn't answer me. And I'm thinking to myself, that ain't gonna fly with his significant other someday. So before I put him on the defensive, I regulate him. I said, babe, I know you're not doing this on purpose and I know you're not trying to be rude. I know in your mind you're focused on something else. And I know to you what I'm saying doesn't seem like it needs a response, like I'm not asking you a question or something. But it's a really good habit to respond to people. People like that. And then he's not defensive. We kind of made a joke about it. Of course, this is a teenager and not a 50 year old who's had decades of practicing justifying and defending. But needless to say, throwing benefit of the doubt in there, like I know you're not a bad person before you give the feedback is always a good idea.